This is a solution to an example problem from the mass volume density problem set from sciencepriMer.com. I pulled a question right out of the problem set and the one I ended up with was what is the mass of a 164.5 cubic centimeter block of an unknown material given that it has a density of 3.1 grams per cubic centimeter. So th these, the problems in this problem set have a general structure. Uh, you are at, you're asked to explore the relationship or, or do math around the relationship between mass, volume, and density. So as with all the problems in this set, we have mass, it's not explicitly said here, but this is volume, the cubic centimeters, and density. So we need to know that relationship, and that relationship, the general relationship is that density equals mass over volume. Before I solve this specific problem using this equation or a, mod a variation of this equation, I want to talk about the general structure of this problem set uh, because there are, given these three variables, you could be asked to do any one of three things. You could be given density and volume and asked to find mass, which is what you've done here. You could also be given mass and density and asked to find volume, or you could give mass and volume and asked to find density. So. The, the trick or, or, or the skill you need to solve all these problems is the ability to manipulate this equation to solve for whichever of the unknowns you end up with. So let's talk about that quickly and in, in this process we'll also explore the, the units a bit. So you're going to need to know three forms or be able to manipulate this equation to get it into three different forms in order to solve all the problems in this problem set. The first form is if you're asked to find density it's the relationship with density isolated from the other variables, which is what I gave you, and it's the standard definition of density, which is mass over volume. We can explore this a little bit to think about, make sure that makes sense, uh, and as always, keeping track of your units is a very e good way to make sure you uh, avoid mistakes. In this case, we have mass is in grams, and volume is in cubic centimeters and this is the definition of density so if we are given mass and volume divide the mass by the volume grams divided by cubic centimeters we'll get density now write it over here density equals mass divided by volume if we were asked as we are in this case to find mass and given this relationship what we need to do is solve this equation for mass the way you do that would be to multiply both sides by volume. We have volume in the numerator and the denominator and they cancel so you end up with mass, and I'm going to flip it around here, equals density times volume. Check the units, so I'll put this one over here. If we are asked to find mass, the relationship is mass equals density times volume, and just to make sure the units make sense here, if we're given a density, it's grams per cubic centimeter, and a volume of cubic centimeters, S cubic centimeters in the numerator and the denominator, the units we end up with is grams, which is what we want for mass. So now from mass equals density times volume, if you were asked to, if you were given a mass and a density and asked to find volume, you just need to solve this equation for volume. In order to do that, this time we are going to divide each side by density. Again, we have density in this case. We have density now in the numerator and the denominator, and we end up with volume equals mass over density. So if you're asked to find volume, given a mass and a density. The structure of the equation is V equals M over D. One final check of the units in this case. We have grams divided by grams per cubic centimeter. This can be written as grams times cubic centimeters over grams to pull this out from the denominator you flip it and 
we can use this to see that the units are correct. Grams numerator, grams denominator, end up with cubic centimeters, which is we want what we want for solving for volume. So now that we've talked about the general structure of these problems and the three forms of the equation you may need to solve any of the problems in this problem set, let's go back and look at the specific problem I am here to solve. So the relationship we need here, as we did, saw on this last page, is solving for mass. Mass equals density times volume. So this equals, in this case, 3.1 grams per cubic centimeter times 164.5 cubic centimeters. Cubic centimeters are going to cancel. The units we're going to end up with is grams, as we discussed before. And so now what we need to do is multiply 3.1 times 164.5 and that equals 509.95. We'll round that up to 510. So in this case the mass of the block equals 510 grams. And just to recap and leave this at the end of the presentation, in order to solve all the problems of this problem set you're going to need to manipulate this formula to get any one of three formats in order to solve for any one of the three variables. You have mass equals density times volume, density equals mass over volume, and volume equals mass over density. So as long as you're able to start with this, which is sort of the given, and find any one of the other either of the other two structures of this equation able to solve for any one of these, you'll do fine with these problem sets.